In this problem, we have a function from r squared into r squared given by f of xy equals xy comma x. And we have to show our function is not linear. So recall a function uh, is linear if you have uh, f of a vector v plus a vector w equal to f of v plus f of w. And uh, if you have f of a uh, scalar times a vector v, that's equal to c times f of the vector. And this is true for all v, w, and for all scalar c. So this has to be true for all choices of vectors uh, v and w and scalar c. So to show it's not linear, all we have to do is find an example that breaks this. So we just have to find one pair of vectors. So let's just make one up. So let's try uh, v equals, I don't know, 2, 3. And then w equals, just making it up here, uh, let's do w equals 3, 4. So if we add these up, we get v plus w. And this is equal to, let's see, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 3 plus 4 is 7. So that's f of v plus w. So if we look at f of v plus w, that's really f of 5, 7. And so according to the definition, so it's 5 times 7, and then 5. So that'll be uh, 35 comma 5. All right, so now let's look at f of v and f of w and see what those are. So f of v, well, that'll be f of 2, 3. So that would be uh, 2 times 3 and then 2. All right, it's x times y and x. So that'll be 6, comma 2. And then f of w, what would that be? f of w is f of 3, 4. So that'll be 3 times 4, comma 3. So that'll be 12, comma 3. So if you add these up, f of v plus f of w, 6 plus 12 is 18, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So that's not equal to f of v plus w. We went kind of quick there, but basically you, you just find two vectors and then you work out each piece of the definition. So boom, here's the first piece. Boom, here's the second piece. They aren't the same, so f is not linear. So all you have to do is find one example uh, where it fails to show that it's not a linear uh, transformation. I hope this video has been helpful.